All right, so I received a tweet from Kia7 saying that this extreme Sudoku is annoying. I'd like to see what's your process of solving. So I'm going to look at this. This is just a classic Sudoku. No weird variant rules today. This is just place the digits one through nine in each row, column, and three by three box with no repeats. Uh, the rules say with repeats for some reason because I don't know how to type. There we go, with no repeats. Let's do it that way. That's important. <laughs> All right, so let's take a look at it. So, um, I mean, there's lots of ways to approach a Sudoku. One of the things that um, I do, I think a lot of people do this, is I just sort of, you can look around and see if something jumps out at you. Um, but I tend to just kind of look at the ones, look at the twos, look at the threes. It's not the most efficient way, but it gets it done. So, you know, we got ones. There's going to be ones up there, ones in here. So we got a bunch of spots where we can limit it to three. Twos, not seeing anything great with twos. Threes, so only a couple of threes in the grid. Ah, so if we look down here, we can't put a three there, and we can't put a three here, and obviously those can't be threes, so this has to be a three, which means there's a three there and a three down here. Okay, we only have the one four, so that's not gonna do us much good. Fives in there, there, there. Yeah, not much with the fives. Sixes get us anything? Sixes, no. Seven, ah, oh, seven, look at this. Should have had that right away. The sevens here, I mean, there's a seven up there. And then. Ah, and down here, this seven sees that. This has to be a seven. So these are going to be six, eight, and nine. And there's a six and an eight right there. So that makes that a nine. Okay, so we have six and eight in those. And so two, right here, this sees one, two, three, six, seven, eight, nine. So it has to be a four or a five. Um, up here, let's see, can we do anything here? These are one, four, five, and seven. Right here sees a one, five, and a seven. So this cell sees one, two, three, five, six, seven, eight, nine. It has to be a four. So these are one, five, and seven. That one can't be a seven. That one can't be a one. Um, all right, so... Sevens, yeah, sevens, yep, okay. We only have the one eight, so that's not super helpful. These are one, two, four, and five, and this one can't be one or five, and this one can't be five. So there's a five in one of these two, and there's a one in one of these two. It's interesting. There's something going on with fives and ones, because look at this. One, five, one, five, one, five. There's some, so none of these can be ones or fives. So this, the ones and fives are there. They're in here. There, yeah. That's interesting. They're limited. The ones and fives seem to have a interesting connection here. And then, Fives are here and ones are here. I'm not sure what that tells us though. Well, so let's look at this row. Look at this row. Where can we put a one or a five? We can't put a one or a five here because of the one five. We can't put it here because of this one five, and we can't put it over here because it's the same box as the one and the five. So these two are actually a one five pair. Now that's really interesting because if, if this is a one, then you'd have a five here and down here. If this is a five, you'd have a one here and down here. And vice versa, if this is a one, you'd have ones down here. If this is a five, you'd have fives down here. So the ones and fives are somehow connected in here, it seems like.
So what happens if this is a one, this can't be a one, this is a one. And if this is a five, this is a five. So again, whichever one is here is over here. Oh, and look, okay. So if this is a five, because of that five, it puts a five there. If this is a one, you have a one there, and because of that one, it puts a one up here, because the one and five over here as well. So whichever one is here is, is down here and up there. And, and, okay, right. So look at this. If this one, right, if this is five, there's a five up here. We just decided that, right? But now you have five here, five there. You have to have a five uh, in one of these three, which is obviously not there, one of these two. But look, the one and the five here rule these out as well. So if it's the five, it's here, which puts a five right there. If it's a one, it's here, which puts a one right there. So whichever digit is here has to be in one of those as well as one of these and is right there. These two are the same digit. Let's color those. Those two are the same digit. Now, what does that mean? I don't know, but it's something. <laughs> if it's a five, it's down here. If it's a one, it's there. Ah, what that means is, right, so whichever one this is, if it's five or one, there's a one and a five up here. So whichever one it is, it's here, it's up there. So in box five, it's gotta be down here and we know it can't be over there. So it has to be in one of these two, but these are the same. So that one is right there. So this is either one or five. This is the other one. Let's make it purple. This is the same as that one. These are a one five pair. These are not one or five, that's a seven. Gives us five, one, oh, one. These are ones, that's a five. These are not ones. Okay, and we said that had to be over here because this one here means that's not a one. So now in this row, this has to be a one, which puts a one up there. And now we can probably get the rest of the ones. Yep, the final one is right there. All right, now I'm gonna get rid of the colors because we don't really need those anymore. Let's see, can we finish off the fives now? Um, five, five, so there's a five up here, it can't be there, so this is five. Five, that puts a five down here. Can't be right there. These two put it in the middle, that one, uh, five, five. Oh, so this is now four means that's two and five. This is not five. The five goes right there. I can't type. Uh, that means we've got all the fives and all the ones. All right, so let's see. Where do we go from there? Well, these are two, three, six, and nine. These can't be two or six. This can't be three. Okay. Uh, let's look down here. Three, four, six, eight, and nine. This one isn't six. These can't be three or four. So that's six, eight, and nine. These two are three and four. Which means these are six, eight, and nine. These are two and seven. This one can't be nine because the nine up there. What do we need up here? Two, four, seven, eight, and nine. These can't be seven or nine. These can't be four or seven. It's not super helpful though. All right, there's gotta be a spot where, oh, twos, look over here in this box. Where can you put a two? You can't put it here or there. This is a two, which means these are not twos. Uh, that puts a two up there. Two's over here. Oh, this two, look, two set, the two's looking at that two seven. So that's a seven, that's a two. Now this is a two because of these. These are not twos. There's a two up there. Ah, this is two in the box here because of these, ruling out all that, which means these are not twos. So the two in box two is there, puts a two up there. And now I think we have all the twos. Very good. 
Um, let's look across the top here. So we need four, six, and eight. This one can't be six, so we've got a four, eight pair that puts the six over here. Means that's not a six. These are three, four, seven, and eight. Uh, these are not four or seven, so that gives us all that. The three, eight pair means this is not an eight. Um, all right, let's just keep going over here. This is three, eight, nine. This can't be eight. Okay, now these are four, six, seven, and eight. These can't be four or seven. These can't be six or eight. This one can't be seven. Three, six, eight, nine across there. This one can't be six, so it's three, eight, nine. Eight, nine. Ah, right here. This uh, has to be six or nine, but there's a six there. So this is the nine, this is six and eight. And nine, that makes this a six and a three. And this is an eight and a four and a seven. Which makes this a four, I believe. That four will give us the three and the four down here. Uh, the six here gives us nine. Those are not, this is now a three six pair. So that's not a six. So, so that's an eight and a six. The nine there gives us the eight. Four, eight. That eight is going to give us the nine. Uh, the nine here. This is not a nine. That six, three, six. Uh, these are not four or eight. So that's a seven, nine pair. This is not a three. So these are three and nine. And the three down here will give us the order of those. That eight gives us the six and the eight. These are three. Three and four, these are six and nine. That six gives us nine and six. The nine, seven and nine. The seven gives us the four and the seven. The four gives us the three and the four. And the three gives us the eight and the three. There we go, looks good to me. Timer stops, so there we go. So that took uh, exactly 13 minutes. So pretty cool. So there was a little bit of a tricky part right there with the ones and the fives. Um, so one thing that can really help, let's see, let me back up to that point for a second. So one thing to think about is, so since these ones and fives were kind of grouped together, um, it seemed like they were kind of working as a pair. And so what I noticed was this row five, you could rule ones and fives out of a lot of spots. And so once we had our one five pair, um, sometimes it can help to color things and say, well, this one is, you know, yellow. And so this one, or green, I think, I think that's green. This one's green, this one's purple. And then you can kind of go around the grid and figure out, um, this didn't take too, sometimes you have to color like a bunch of places and say, well, green, 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 and then purple, 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 you know. Um, and essentially, if you find out, uh, let's see, so we were right here. Once we know that this is green, it forced this to be green, and this had to be purple. And since you have purple and green, you can rule out that one five from any other cell that both of those see. So for example, we could also rule one and five out of these because they see green in the box and purple in the column. So you couldn't put a one or a five in either of these cells. So they also see purple and green both in the column. But um, so that gave us the seven there and that was what unlocked the rest of the puzzle. So yeah, that was a little bit tricky in the middle there. So let me know what you thought of this Sudoku. Thank you for that suggestion, Kia. And I'll see you again soon with some more puzzles. Thanks, bye.